Hey, Lauren here. We are doing our vacation rental series uh, and we're still continuing on now with in, we're reducing our liabilities and we're talking property management. So property management is going to be incredibly important with especially with a short term rental. Now you have a few options. A lot of people go with a property management company option where those companies charge anywhere from eight to nine percent from maybe ten percent for a long-term rental and up to third well around thirty percent of your gross uh, for short-term rentals and not all property management companies are the same and i'll just i'll put it at that i i i almost have a disdain for property management companies and it's not because i don't want to like them i I have two of them, I own two of them. And the reason why I started property management companies, it's not because I want to do it. I actually don't like doing it. And that's why I don't do a lot of videos on it because I'm just, I just don't like it. And it, it's just, just not my jive. And that's okay. And I would love to hire property management companies if I felt that they would do an adequate job for my, my home or wherever my home is. And I haven't been able to find any that I actually like or there's just too many red flags and i'm like if i'm paying you 30 percent what exactly are you doing for me and what like what are you going to do to keep my house safe what are you doing to reduce my liability what are you going to do to increase my profits are you just literally there to take my money run it like i don't know uh run it like you normally do. I know with Florida rentals, there's um, it's, a, it's a very like Saturday to Saturday rental, Sim similar here in a lot of places, depending on flights, but you have a Saturday to Saturday. So the property management company has almost an impossible feat to turn over all of their units in a matter of four to eight hours, depending on the day. And so that doesn't give a property management time, very much time to do what they need to do, clean the house, clean the sheets, get everything working again, have a handyman if something's broken, and renters, let me tell you, I don't know what they do, but the it doesn't matter if they're there a couple days, if they're there months, I swear the damage and the wear and tear doesn't matter the amount of time they're there, it just happens so fast. It's and I'm not saying I'm saying property management companies do have almost an impossible task just because of turnover, but also at the same time they're a company that's trying to profit and they are profiting off of you. And so you need to make sure that they're doing their jobs. And when I'm pay if I'm paying someone 30% gross off the top, I expect my house to be maintained. I expect them to take assume a li liability for the house because they are taking it. If I'm giving them that amount of money, they need to assume responsibility for my, for my home. And that's where I tend to butt heads the most with property management companies. And that's why I've created my own. And it's not because I want to, it's because I didn't feel like they were going to treat my property with the respect that it deserves. Uh, and there's a little bit of a cross, uh, both mentalities, they kind of butt against each other. And I'm not trying to blame a prop property management company. They're out there for profit. So they want to do the least, the least they can do possible and maximize their returns. That's the exact opposite I want them to do. And so I'm not blaming property management companies. I just have a little bit of a conflict with them. And so when you are hiring a property management company, you need to, there needs to be a reason. Is it just time, money, like aggravation? I mean, it's aggravating running a short-term rental. Um, that's why I don't really like property management. I have a property management company, but you don't hear me like advertising for it because I don't, I do it as, as a courtesy for my clients. I, and not for my own properties, but I don't, I don't want to grow it because I don't like it. <laughs> um, but I think there is definitely a need for quality property management companies and you get, and just in high short term rental areas, you know, your Caribbeans, your mountain homes, I've just noticed a little bit of a disconnect, um, a little bit uh, between the companies. And I'm not saying it's their fault, they're in business to make money. Um, they're just not always in business to maintain your home and keep it keep it safe from renters. Um, it's more of a let's maximize how many renters we can get in that. And then the damage and the wear and tear just kind of seems to be a little bit of an afterthought where it's never, it's fixed the cheapest possible way. Um, and it, there's just a lot of conflicting views. So if you guys ever have any questions, I have lots of opinions about property management. I own two companies myself. Um, it's just a, it's a love hate thing for me. So thanks guys for tuning in.